welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Orthian Dresson, and today we're going to look at all the wrestling news from Sunday. We start with a very intense story. In an interview with the Daily Star, Jake Roberts spoke about his drug and alcohol addictions. He said, I was pretty destined for that. It ran in my family. The actual reason it happened was because I was still hiding. You can't spend your life hiding. You really can't. It's very hard to go through life be having been sexually abused and tried to keep that hidden from everybody i was ashamed of being molested i was ashamed where i came from it was horrible it, i was on one hand this is larger than life character but in reality i was a scared little boy that didn't know what was going to happen to him next the best way to get over it is to get a lot of counseling and bring that stuff to the light life is very rough i'm doing drugs every day i was doing drugs every day I was doing cocaine, drinking at least 12 beers a day. I did cocaine and forgot. Then, and then I did the alcohol to come down from the high of cocaine. It was t total misery. <clears throat> I was waiting to die and actually wanting to die. I was tired of living that way. I was so ashamed to be out in the public eye. I didn't go out to dinner during the day. I only went late at night, sometimes 3, o'clock of, three or 4 o'clock in the morning to get food and stuff. I didn't want anyone to recognise me. I started to work out. <clears throat> while I was doing DDP yoga every day. I wasn't eating crap anymore. It had been so long since I'd been healthy. It was insane. I was 310 pounds and then with a very short time, I dropped 20 pounds in like five weeks. It was a spark I needed to live again. DDP yoga gave me the opportunity and the need to dream again. Even when I had a shoulder injury, I didn't give up. I wanted to, but my addiction was saying to me, you're not worthy of having a good life, You, sh your shoulder screwed up, you don't have the money to have surgery, you're going to wind up with me again, your only buddy, your addiction, the addiction wanted me to fail, it doesn't want you to be successful, it doesn't want you to be happy, it wants you dead, that's what it wants, but in less than 24 hours we had enough money to take care of my shoulder, I couldn't believe it, and one day fans stepped up and showed how much they cared, it was still so surreal. I didn't think it would ever going to happen, not because of what I did inside the ring, but because of what I've done outside the ring. The Hall of Fame was a fabulous moment to have many of my children and grandchildren with the induction was great. It seemed like a full circle. I'm back where I belong and it's good to smile again. Uh, I want to pause in this for just one second. This is a positive way to look at it. He's thinking about it as an actual thing, trying to cause problems. So that's the best, I think that's the best way to beat it. Think of it as a physical thing that you need to defeat. And that that's probably the best way to think about it. But he also has advice to people about addiction problems. First thing I have to say is get honest with themselves and people around them and seek help and get the right plan. They could work out because it gets a little flowing and the and endorphins moving again. I suggest UDP yoga because anyone in the world can do it. I know people in wheelchairs that are doing this. It makes a difference because it makes you feel like you have accomplished something. You start winning again. Once you start feeling better about yourself, you'll notice that there's not quite not quite the need to drink or do drugs. Normally the reason why we do that stuff is to forget things and massive pain. Helping people is so cool. It feels so awesome when I open their arms to better ways of living. The life without drugs or alcohol, I get the best high of my life by telling people this stuff. Well, I'm glad that that solid thing. Just, just finally, be honest, open, and if if you are going through drug or alcohol addiction or any form of addiction, please seek help. Please seek professional help. There is help out there for you. Do not lose hope. Uh, let's move on to um, Alexa Bliss talks about the pressure of being a WWE superstar. I fully accept the fact that. If I'm going to do a career like this, I'm have to willing to take criticism because it's part of the job, you know. The Instagram, any Instagram thing I post, someone's going to say something. I know that. Anything on Twitter, someone's going to judge whatever I do, whatever I say, whatever I look like. And I understand that. But I know if they they were to ever read into that and slip back into eating disorder, if I was to slip back into an eating disorder, my body will not survive another one. I've been told multiple times on how my body reacts to it. I will not survive another one. If I'm a little more heavier... If I'm ever a little thicker, that's fine because it means I'm stronger. It means I'm not worried about waking up in the morning. I'm not worried about the amount of calories I'm eating. There's so many more things in life to worry about than that. They say an eating disorder will always be in the back of your head. You'll never get rid of it. Once it's there, it's always there. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, there's still food I'm still afraid to. I'm afraid, terrified to eat certain foods, but I know that if I eat them, it's going to be okay. I'm going to get through it. 
I've been very aware of the fact that I've been in the public eye, been on TV, been cast in Total Divas. I'm setting myself out there for criticism, but I have to know in my heart what I know what is right. Wow, that is a strong message there, Alexa Bliss. Seriously, I do hope you have the tools to deal with this eating disorder. They're not a nice thing. I went through a stage where I didn't eat anything most of the time. It's not a good or healthy thing. So if you have got an eating disorder, I don't know the advice for this, to be fair. Just just a seek help, I guess. Damn. Best of luck, Alexa Bliss. Then we move on to AJ Styles talking about the biggest moment in his career so far. He said, my debut in the Royal Rumble was the biggest moment of my career. I was quite overwhelmed by the support shown by WWE fans and that's something I will never forget. Transitioning from New Japan to WWE, I never changed my style with the respect to, ha to how my, my wrestle. The only difference was that WWE has a lot more cameras facing you than the independent circuit, but I think that's just really a learning curve that you need to get through, and it really has helped me. If there's room for improvement, of course I have room for improvement. Look at the talent like Okada. He's one of the best wrestlers in the world, and the kid's not even 30. He's won the IGP, IWGP Championship at such a young age. When you see a talent like that, it inspires you to work harder. Fair enough. He is one incredible wrestler and uh, let's move on to Karen Jarrett comments on Jeff Jarrett leaving absence with the follow message on Twitter saying so many continue to reach out for Jeff and myself thank you all for the love thank you to Ed Norholm and Anthem for giving Jeff the time he needs and to all the fans this 100% this is 100% 110% a positive for Jeff and Impact Wrestling fair enough best of luck to whatever the hell is going on with you Jeff Jarrett and Bobby Roode made his final NXT appearance at last night's Toronto live event. He defeated the Velveteen Dream. And it was glorious! Oh, so I had to do that. But yeah, best of luck, Bobby Roode and SmackDown. We know you'll kill it. Um, and during the past week's Raw, the announcers were recapping the Cruiserweight match with, when Corey Graves said the following about Enzo Amore. Enzo cheats on his taxes, cheats on his girlfriend, cheats in a tag match. NXT star Liv Morgan, who's been dating Enzo Amore, wrote the following on her Twitter account. Me knowing that I'm single and nobody's cheating on me. Um, and Tyler Bate. Uh, oh, Morgan retweeted this message from Tyler Bate. I like your face. <laughs> <laughs> so they are split up. Seriously. Okay, well, that's good to know. And uh, Tyler Bates going to get in there, apparently. Go for it, lad. Go for it. Now, that is the wrestling news. Uh, a lot of intense uh, subjects there. But I've, I've just been quoting what they've said, so... Like I've said, just seek professional help if you've got any form of um, drug addiction, eating disorder, anything like that. Just please let people help you. It's the best advice I can give you. Now, with that being said, this has been the news. If you've enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content and I'll catch you later.